This time last week, we were wondering who the Prime Minister was going to be. We knew it was down to two. Since then, Theresa May has been sworn in, has moved into number 10 and created a new cabinet. And since we're not into, you know, people might not be across who's in the cabinet, we're going to take you through it using the craze that seems to have taken over everybody else this week. So let's start with a picture of Theresa May using an app on her phone to hunt down her cabinet. <laughs> First off, she found Philip Hammond, the Chancellor of the Exchequer. <laughs> Uh, he's promised an end to austerity and used to dress as a goth at university, so who better to get the country out of the red and into the black? <laughs> uh, he's called Exchequertude. <laughs> can, I, can I just say for the record, I am loving this already. <laughs> uh, next up, she named Boris Johnson Foreign Secretary. Uh, a messy, offensive ball of chaos, he's just as comfortable dangling 20 feet in the air as he is knocking over a small Japanese boy. <laughs> he's called the Gaffapod. <laughs> The Home Secretary is Amber Rudd, the only Cabinet Minister that sounds like an Australian beer. <laughs> she has walked into Theresa May's vacant position, so we'll call her Watch Your Back. <laughs> uh, Andrea Leadsom has been named Secretary for the Environment, uh, which means she is responsible for dealing with the farmers and fishermen, which is a tough job for someone who promised great things to the farmers and fishermen after the Brexit. So she's called Up Shit Creek. <laughs> As you can see, she comes without a paddle. <laughs> and then there's Jeremy Hunt, the former health secretary, <laughs> who has somehow remained health secretary. Like the Terminator T-1000 of ministers, he can't be stopped. And after many thought Jeremy Hunt had been removed from his position this week, he tweeted, reports of my death have been greatly exaggerated. <laughs> yes, Jeremy, much like reports of weekend deaths at hospitals. <laughs> Not surprisingly... Not surprisingly, he's known as No One Like A Chew. <laughs> and if you're wondering where you can find George Osborne and Michael Gove, well, they're called Out You Goin' On Your Ass, <laughs> and we found them here. <laughs> By the way, we're going to be so glad when we don't have to talk about political bullshit anymore. <laughs> I mean, thank God we're going to Rio after this series. <laughs> Listen to this. Be aware, this is also how I feel when you talk about Game of Thrones. <laughs> Just look at this game. What a load of bullshit. I don't know how I've been too old for Pokemon twice. 